Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you, whatever temperature it is, it's freaking cold here for me. This is December 10th, which I guess defines cold in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, so uh, doing triage today, it's Tuesday, but we're actually doing triage for the rest of December at this point, as we discussed in the last meeting. So I just started numbering them such that we have enough numbers to get us through the rest of the year. Uh, at this point, there'll be no Christmas Eve thing, so I think we'll just count for the next uh, four meetings, which is the next two weeks, and then we'll call it good. As always, remember, these meetings are recorded for those people that are not here in person, um, Lair Loss, Our Win, all that kind of good stuff, and I think it's about time to get your votes in for how many bugs we're going to get through today. Um, what do I want to do? I want to do, I want to do, I'm going to take 42, because Jacob's not here. Ooh, 50. I like 50. I'd like to see 50. I don't know how hard they're going to be on the other side. 47. All right. We got some good numbers today. Uh, let's go jump into this. Nice, easy, even number thing to start with, 370. Maybe I'll remember that. Um, and it looks like we only got a couple bugs back, three or four bugs back here, and we need to go and... Sorry. So, starting at the top. You ready, Bob? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Uh, registry search for bundle ignoring root attribute. Um... Yeah, so he's doing a registry search for this 2013 thing. So I saw this this morning before the meeting, so I was like, no way this doesn't work. So I went out and wrote a bundle fragment and everything, and I tested it. And I get this in my log file, which this is the exact same copy and paste of his stuff, except I did both of Win64 and not Win64. And I got values of zero, which is actually the SP value on my machine, because, well, I don't think there's a 2013 SP1 at the time of this triage so I don't think this is an issue and he's got something else going on that would be good for us to get into but I think we say this works for us and ask him to send more information or honestly start a thread on like Wix users or something yes um yeah yeah I mean if he can repro this in a simple bundle yeah well uh, or something else that causes it to repro that I'm not seeing because I basically took most of this and just dropped it right in. So. Right, right, exactly. All right, so let's go do that. I don't want to sit here forever. Hey, heat freezes on a DLL. I have no idea. Crystal reports. Why are they using crystal? Why are they doing heat? Okay, some of this this thing's wrong. Um, I we heat can hang if the DLL isn't designed to to do this. So. I'd say we just send him back to Wix users and tell him he shouldn't be getting himself up. But, I mean, at a certain level, this is going to be the DLL not being running happy under heat, right? So fix the DLL, which isn't going to help him much, probably. Well, I'm curious. Oh, he did include a link to it. Yep. Um, but if it's hanging in, you know, DLL register server, it's going to hang everywhere, right? Yeah, that's, I mean, I've never seen heat hang by itself. I've seen it hang inside the DLL. Well, I'm just, uh, it, you would expect it to hang everywhere, except, of course, yeah, you know, heat does the wonky little registry redirection. Um, I mean, this, this is something it's very unlikely we're going to be able to fix if it's actually hanging inside the, the DLL. DLL. Right. Um, and of course, there's no version number of Wix. So we can toss it in 3x because he's provided DLL and could go, yep, cool, self reg hangs. Or we could just kick it back to him and say, hey, self reg probably hangs. Also, he sh this this is really sketchy. It's unlikely that he should be taking their stuff and putting it in his own DLL. Like, that's just sketchy. Well, I certainly agree with that. Um, so a lot of us don't so, do that. Crystal Reports is well known for having really bad merge modules you can't actually use. But, Different. Um, yeah, I guess I'm... I lean toward taking this to investigate. Okay. Hi. Just, just to you know, a hang is worse than a crash. So, all right, cool, done. Put it in wherever you're going to put it. Three X, I suppose. Yeah, 
Yep, okay. three X. Awesome. Onward. Close should send W parameter of WM session to the thing. Work. Do that. Do that. Do this. Yeah. John seems to suggest that this might already be fixed. If not, it does seem like we should fix it, right? I would assume. Is this... I'm missing... Oh. Yeah. Well, wait, no, you just added... This came in 3. ...end session stuff in 3.8, right? Yes. Oh, it's like we're passing the number in the wrong place. Look real quick. Remember which one I put in. This is in, unfortunately, still in the Wix CA. I think DLL. Close apps. Ah! Quit popping up over top of my video. There we go. Alright. Um, send message. Timeout. Oh. Yeah, yeah, well, it doesn't, it says we're supposed to return the DW result, which we're not doing. Okay. So, cool. Um, so, yeah, probably should do that differently. Okay. Uh, 3.9 seems reasonable. We can open it, put it there. Uh, you can give it to me if you want. I'll go hunt that down, because that's not right. Although it worked on all the tests I used, so I guess some people aren't following the spec exactly right. Probably because people get the spec wrong, or whatever. Right. Uh, okay, all right. <clears throat> this is a really funny bug, because I just hit this exact same thing, or I just hit somebody that reported the exact same thing in Fire Giant. Right. And of course, I can't repro it. Um, although it makes sense. So this basically comes down to what he is Saying, well, there there are two two bits here that I find interesting about this this particular bug. One is clearly uh, because Melt isn't extracting out all of the the blobs in yes. in the package. Um, mostly, well, mostly this is concerned about entries in the binary table and in the icon table. Yes. You should, uh, you can patch those things um, and it should just work and it should one might argue work with the melt approach um, if we're offering that up um, melt does not do that right now it doesn't dump the binary table doesn't dump, dump, dump the icon table um, or theoretically any other tables um, and I suspect that the original bug reporter is running into this. Um, the second bit that I don't know about yet is, based on their the actual error messages, is how someone, what part I'm not sure, is handling um, merge modules. Yeah. So that's, you know, the, the custom action DLL is not being available yeah, yep, I get that. Um, icons. Yeah, icons or, yeah. But then the merge modules, it's like, I don't know what's going on there. I'm not sure why Pyro would be throwing those messages. Um, unless it's also related to other binary objects, other you know binary table entries or, or icons. I agree. There's some, so there's still something wrong here. Well, there's yeah. two issues. Is that there, what? Yeah. That, sorry. Where I was going is um, Melt doesn't handle blobs. Okay. That is a known weakness in the design, and that we should probably fix. Um, the the second is what's up with the merge modules? That's an unknown. So probably should be ignoring them. Yeah, or figuring I'm back to like why is Pyro even looking, f actually looking for a merge module? It's, I, I think what's happening is we're actually picking up 
source line number info. And so where it's looking for, again, I, I suspect it's like looking for a custom action DLL. And the only source info it has is that it came from a merge module. Well, all this is done with the PDBs here, right? So the PDBs yeah. are going to have source paths in them. So it could be the binders trying to redo all that. Yep. All right, well, we still should take this bug. I absolutely agree. The solution that was proposed down here was to use extract export all, which is not the right way to do that. We should expect export the binary and icons especially. So. Well. Because otherwise well, you're going to get really funny names for all those other things. Well, yeah. Though that said, we do need to come up with a solution for things that aren't in the binary or icon tables, like a custom table. Well, you could scan the whole thing. Although, there's so many things that don't work right if you put a binary object in a custom table. That's, but that's fair. I, that's I would why be... you're supposed to use the binary table, because it's just like the generic dumping ground for all that stuff. Fair. Yeah, that's fair. It just uh, doesn't, things don't work out well. Well, and, and yeah, we, and we definitely have a problem kind of supporting arbitrary things. Export all definitely is, is not the thing, because remember, the it, it's not just grabbing bits out of the MSI. The other thing that, that Melt does is update the Wix PDB. Exactly. That's what so we have to be very, very specific <laughs> about what we grab and how we update it. Um, but yeah, it, it helps point out the problem, so I'm cool with that. Um, I'm certainly okay with taking this into 3x. Okay. Uh, so we still need someone to go work on it and go figure out the root cause of all this stuff. All right. I still haven't been able to repro it, so I'm, I'm doing something. Wrong. Maybe I should go try to get this guy's zip file. Yeah. Am I, yeah, I don't know. yeah, it's it's huge, but it has two, yeah, two emphasized these. It would be nice if they had a smaller one that showed the problem. But that would always be nice. All right, so this is just going to get opened again, and we still need to go hunt it down. Okay. Uh, yeah, well. All right. It is what it is. And now we're back into three years ago. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Let's go through these. Yeah. Currently, one wants to change the font styles on the standard dialogs. The only way is to redefine the sets from scratch. Be much easier to faster to customize dialogs if there's a puzzle, override them. Okay. Seems reasonable. Yep. Sure. Could do that. Figure out how. After running deferred custom action that runs from the file system, the tent folder it creates is not deleted. Isn't there a bug, another bug open on this? Yes. All right, cool. We can do that to this or this to that, whichever one is cleaner. That's pretty clean, although it would have been nice if they would have said manage custom actions. But anyway, um, add a custom action for comparing four-part version numbers. Sure, I could see that being useful. Burn does this much better. Yeah, she has a version type, which is so helpful. Agreed? Sure. I mean, it could be done. 3x, totally possible. Yep. Add web application project support to heat. Right. Sure, this could be done as well. If someone want to do that. I think there's another bug open about web apps not working right in heat, and it should kind which, of thing. Which one of those did they kill? Was it web I, app or web project or... Oh. Isn't one of those dead now? I don't know. But Visual Studio 2010 has it, so we could have Heat to do it. Okay, that's fair. I mean, yeah, someone could go do that. Uh, bundle conditions should not be allow, should not be an attribute to allow C data. Oh, allow and burn conditions. Which is unreadable and error prone for more interesting expressions. Hmm. <laughs> For more interesting expressions, I like that. Don't have, yeah, anyway. Yeah, we could, I don't know, we could do this. It's going to get kind of uglyish, but. Well, it is ugly, and. God, I, I hate having, it's the anti-Python. I hate having more than one way to do something. <laughs> True. Um. I, I, I naturally dislike the 
child element approach. It's part of what makes XML so ugly to read. But I mean, do we really need this? Do we this, actually? This, this happened to come from a tester during the Visual Studio 2010 yeah. push. So I'm, yeah. I'm nobody else is complaining. So or hasn't complained. So we could. <laughs> We could put this into the suspended bucket and see if anybody wants to come along and come up with a nice, pretty way of representing the data. Yeah, that's my vote. I just don't think it's that big a deal. Yep. Okay. Uh, we are unanimous for the three of us that are here today. <laughs> and of course, if someone disagrees, they can always put a comment in, open for triage, and we'll talk about it again. Add MS build tasks for Pyro. I agree, we should do that. I have no idea how to go about doing all that, but we should do that. Not votive, yeah. but that's okay. And this could go in 3x, it's that in, right? Add uh, in. maybe. <laughs> should be, well. Well, Pyro is a hard one. So. I, I think that's just the beginning of the K, you know, it's all, it gets harder after that, but yeah. Ice99, when heated directory name date, date is to that, yes, if it's possible change heat to that. Sure, heat could be changed to recognize date and do something smart with it. Does it do that with others? I don't no, but if it knows it's going to fail, I mean, you know date's going to fail. Yeah, true. So it could handle that. Authentic okay. code support. Validating signature is a two-step process. .NET framework is retrieve. We need signing time, which is part of that. I don't understand. Oh, this is DTF. DTF does I don't know what this is doing. .NET Framework is able to retrieve embedded certificates, however, to be able to validate the need signing time, which is part of authentic code's signature. Currently, there is no API for retrieving signatures, retrieving timestamp information. Is there something in DTF that does this? Like, I've never used DTF to do this. I, I keep looking for a, and DTF should do, I'm seeing a bug, but no suggestion as to, like, what the fix is. No, let, let's just punt this. I've never heard this before. If he wants, if it comes back, we'll do that, but. There's nothing in DTF around certificate. The... Yeah, I have no idea what this is. So yeah, let's, maybe he filed it in the wrong area. Yeah. Like he wanted to go down a framework, and he found Wix. Cannot use regular scheduling for some standard actions. True. We don't. I don't. I don't know that we want to do this. I don't. I don't know that we want people moving these standard actions around. Well, I mean, right away, <laughs> he's asking uh, to use suffrage better. Like, uh, no. Um, no? Yeah, so many of these... I know, I know some of these at least have strict requirements about scheduling. Yeah, there's a whole lot of them you won't, you won't want to move around. self edge modules might be one of those you can move around. But like putting remove files before remove folders and <laughs> just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, I, no? Yeah, yeah, not a good idea. Yeah, not a good, not a good idea. And this is not, this is not suspended. This yeah, is no, this is no. This is yeah, no. This isn't just a, uh, this isn't, no, we don't want to do that. Currently doing the following is not possible. <laughs> no means no, exactly. Currently do, I wanted to find the attribute to find some, but for it to not exist otherwise. Not as part of the DOM itself. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no, that's right. It has to be valid XML. We're not changing that. No, no, 
No. Not just no, but no. Oh, yeah. No. We've no. hit like three of those bugs where I, I hit that just <laughs> full body. Nah, no. Um, heat fails, bad image format X64. That's right. Heat does not support X64, right? And uh, do not harvest and stuff. Well, okay. No, no, this is... That should work, right? Because we now mark heat as a 32-bit oh, process. Right. I say we make this bug go away, and I expect one of the other heat bugs is covering it just fine. And this is also harvest equals true. Oh. From the command line, it works just fine. Oh, wait, it does not work inside votive? Oh, maybe it has something to do with running under the server. Oh. What? I'm going to reproduce this. What? I'm, I'm... Sorry, I'm still confused. Um, what, what, how's he running it where it fails versus... I, I say we kick this bug and if it comes back... We'll do it, but this is also a very old bug. I, yeah, true. It's just... Let's kick it out, and if someone wants to bring it back, we'll get a new bug on it. So, I don't know, outdated or something like that. I don't want to try to hunt this bug down. It, like, it, There's not a lot of value in hunting it down. If there's an issue, someone will bring it back, I'm pretty sure. Right, right. Okay. CA. I'd like to add... Include lib executable directories for VS thir Win32. This can be done by the registry. Keys are, I've seen dat and VC. Oh. I don't understand. If, if you're shipping a library, primarily like a C++ library, uh -huh. configuring all the VS crap to let you use it is kind of annoying. Especially because it wasn't until, what, I think 2010 that they started to prefer using the project for that. You needed to, uh, you needed to actually add your library's directories to the global project. Visual Studio settings. It's much better now in 2010 and later because the project works much better as a source for that and you have templates and then I, now you have new I, I say I say we suspend this and just kind of because I yeah I think they're going in the direction of NuGet for this kind of stuff right I, I'm I don't know I mean I say we suspend it and if he wants to bring it out of mothballs that's fine but this is pretty sure. narrow yeah yeah well I mean the big win would be if we went back and added all the support to the old versions that we don't support anymore yeah yeah <laughs> We're not going to do. We're removing. Uh, suggest the icon attribute in the class is not supported when advertise equals no. The fact that this compiles actually has a behavior, though, behavior is inconsistent. The presence of icon advertise equals no should result in a failed build or it should be supported. When advertise equals yes, it gets that. When it does that, it gets, oh, well, that's probably a bug if we're actually inserting the, or is that? Yeah, okay, this is probably a bug. We should fix it in 3x or so. Oh, 3x? Can we fix it in 3x? <laughs> uh, no, because we're no. going to change the good. This has to go in 4x. Yep. Yeah, 4x. It's prob We're probably just putting it in the wrong place. So, yeah, 4x. Too bad. It'd be a nice bug to go fix, but oh well. Shell new entries not created for unadvertised class. Shell new when installed. However, the same does not create these entries that be added explicitly. Entries that advertise equals yes produces. I don't know that that's true because, oh no, shell new. Shell new is that thing for advertised shortcuts. Like, it tells the shell, isn't that the indication to the shell that this is one of those 
things. Don't ask me. I think I think this is the thing that the Wix or that Windows installer writes. It says I'm doing advertised com stuff here, and you have to have the new shell, which of course you had in Windows XP and later, maybe in Windows 2000, maybe it wasn't in Windows 2000. Anyway, it might have been in Windows 2000. Holy cow, these projects are old. God, I'm oh, old. Oh, oh, so so that's where class. It's not not just shortcuts, but all the com entry points as well. That's why class would pick it up. Right. Okay. So I think he's wrong. I don't think we should be writing this. Otherwise, we'd be pretending to be acting like advertised, but we're not. Well, and what would we write? I, they've never documented the... Yeah. So I, I appreciate what he's saying, but I think he's actually exactly wrong <laughs> with this, is that advertised is different than non-advertised because it's advertised. It's all that other extra goo. Right. So, uh, no, invalid. Class handle. Let's oh, another. The following... Produces different guards of improc when the registry is installed. Second produces improc handler, improc handler. I don't know. Oh, handler equals three. Oh, we're supposed to put a 32 here. That's probably true. That's probably a bug right there. Only 32 going in the 16 bit. That's probably true. Yeah, we probably got that wrong. But I think this is another 4x bug. Although, what does that mean? People must not be using this much. I guess this is old school. Olay. Oh, I see. The formatting makes it hard to see. Yeah, but Ole Ole too, and yeah. See, this Olay. is. Oh, that's wrong. It should how probably put. Seems wrong. Yeah. See, how can it? Ugh. Sorry, it just that seems weird to have not been caught. Well, the. I think this is pretty old com stuff, so people might not use the class ID for all this, like the pretty printing class ID. Interesting. Um, okay. So, yes, I think that's probably... I think this is probably a bug, I and mean, I think we have to put in 4X, because it's going to change the keys again. Like yeah. this looks wrong, right? See the, the this sure, should be sure. thirty two for only thirty two. So anyway, unfortunately it's go four X. Yep. MSMQ faileth exist. Or some functionality like this. Yeah, we we could do that. That can go in three X. Sure. Q remove on uninstall. No, this is this is not. Uh, yeah, no, this isn't going to be the right answer. Um. Well, it, I don't know. Something like it might be. Um, there. I've done I've done a couple of MSMQ things and Complus applications as well. It's like it, they they tend to be treated as user data, right? Uh, so being able to leave them behind does that mean is, make the component permanent? As long as that's respected, yeah, it, it will be. This thing's written correctly. Um, I mean, this is going to yeah, have to be conditional on major upgrade and all that kind of stuff. It's just like, no, 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 no. Well, but that, I mean, that's part of it. How would you, how would you pull off something that, you know, does this only during major upgrade? Well, you can't, yeah, so, you know, honestly, maybe we need another thing in the component to do action that also has the ability to say not during upgrade or something. Okay. But we don't have that today. True. 
and, and I think that goes across the board, not just this custom action. You'd want to think about that for every custom action that does that. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, you're right. You're right. The biggest win is permanent component. That'll work. Yeah, and, and this isn't the way to do that. This this isn't the way to do that. There, there's a design here that needs to be created to talk about that, thing, to talk, to, to handle. Don't remove this during major upgrade, even though I scheduled my major upgrade early. Right. Kind of thing. So that's a different feature. Not yeah, this. Yeah, I agree. I agree. This attribute, this is not going to be maintainable. That's going to be a nightmare. So I think that's known. Someone could go open the other feature if they wanted. That Light works. should warn. I'm sorry? I said that works. Yep. Light should warn on inappropriate key paths. Oh, that's interesting. At bind time, you know where all of your resources yeah. are. So warn if you have picked one that isn't the if best. If you picked the bad order. Yeah. Although I think two and three are a tie. Or sorry, two and four are a tie, and three nobody ever does. Right. <laughs> but too many people do five, so. Yes. So I, that's, that's interesting. Could do that in yeah. three X. That would not be a bad part of our... Uh... Dark should take an XSL transform? No. Wow, no. that was fast. No. No. Just, it gives you your source code back. Wow. Oh, oh yeah, no, no, no. I, I, have, I have images in my head of trying to automate Dark. Yeah, really. Like, what are you doing? Don't do that. New MSI UI are not included in MSP, even though new fragments... Ah. Um... Yeah, you need to reference a fragment. So do we have UI ref under patch family? I think that's what this turns into, if not. My bet is that we don't. I've never heard anybody complain about this, but maybe they all... Hey, we do. Well, then this bug is solved. That's kind of what I'd hoped. Good. This, I think this bug has been fixed. This is really old, so... Let's see. No, we don't... I. John says no. I don't know what he means no for. That's very... <laughs> No. Okay. He's just trying to get us through the bugs fast. Oh, it is fixed. All right, cool. He is. He has. He has fifty. Which happy to reward him with the the win if he's right. So, so I think that we can resolve that as fixed and carry on. I was trying to sign my driver. Anytime it contains a Wix PDB. Uh, what? No, <laughs> I don't care. This is old. <clears throat> Thoughts? Does anybody care? I don't know where we put that. By the way, this, that, that. I got another good idea. Our our bugs are now searchable. <laughs> Seriously, if you search for this and all that kind of stuff, you're going to get this message. This is beautiful. We could say, thank you very much. This bug will serve as a documentation. Success. <laughs> Our bugs in SourceForge weren't searchable for anything, but now they are. I was, I was starting to get uh, um, organic. It's, I don't know. I haven't tried much, but they're certainly set up to be that way. And, if, yeah. and I don't know if I have the sitemap completely wired in yet, but if that, then yeah, it'll totally be searchable. Yeah. Anyway, I expect if you go out there, let me just take this. Right. Wander <laughs> over here to Bing. All right. We'll do this so everybody can see. Let's see if it works. Real time in front of the audience. Look at that. 
Look at that. Cool. I found the original SourceForge bug at this point. So, holy cow, it has two bugs. <laughs> it found bug out. All right, now I'm confused. Oh, it found bug out. Is that? Oh no, is bug out still alive? Apparently. Oh, I gotta go kill it. Yeah. Oh, haha, I didn't know that. That was our test bed for the Wix issues. Do not use bug out. Do not use bug out. That does not exist. That will be gone soon. Do not go there. You will be filing bugs in a place nobody cares to look anymore. So anyway, I say we resolve that bug and say, thank you. You are awesome. We have noted that bug right here in this, or it is now searchable. Cool? That uh, works for me. All right. All right. Registry is not deferred. Shell new project harvest. Project harvesting. Here we are, right? I didn't look at the numbers. Yes. 2426. All right. 2426 should be great if it takes this into... Yes, I agree. Someone can write this feature. I swear there's another bug open on that, if not three. Um, IS at pool set to 32-bit. This has been fixed. This, I remember, we took a fix for this. Now if you put it in a 64-bit component, this is fixed. Okay. Help by off by specifying default attributes. Oh man. We are okay about specifying default, but we could add a whole column and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's the problem. We we tend we describe it in prose rather than than in a column. Um, well, back then we were even worse about it. We've been getting better about that. Th that's fair. That's fair. I'm inclined uh, to just keep it the way it is, but unless someone wants to do a huge... Let's mark this suspended. If someone wants to do a huge amount of work, they could do it. Otherwise, I'm inclined to let's just make the pros really good. Yeah, we'd have to figure out how to put this into the schema. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it'd be a lot of work. I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad idea. It's going to be a lot of work, and I think there are other things we could do, like going and putting the, the appropriate everywhere. So let's do that. Cool. That works. All right. Standard actions are not included in patches. Um, I think that's... No, wait, how do... How do we fix this? Or was this a, we need to fix this? would have a custom action ref, which we do allow you to do now. Right. I know, yeah. I don't know what this is. Do we actually have this? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I forgot where this landed. There's something back in my brain that says conversation. It's very Fuzzy. I don't know. Custom action ref, but not standard action ref. Yeah. I, I want to say that this is like fixed out there. I don't well wait, what would get included? The only thing that would that would really happen is if you change the condition on a standard action which is a bad idea, or if you change the sequence, which might also be a bad idea. I'm wondering if, the, if this is a... Is this a real... Is there a real need for this? Yeah, you add a reg key when you didn't have a reg key and you have to get the right registry values or something like that. Oh, that's interesting. I suppose. Part of me thinks that this is solved. As in we do it magically now? Yeah, well, we do handle all those. I don't know. All right, so do we throw in 3x and have someone look at it? Yeah. All right. 
should be able to ignore certain files and directories. Hey, they had something about doing exclude in the past. That's a dupe. Not possible to configure all temp file locations. I think this is true. Um, our temp file handling in the waste tool set is not great. We can put this in 3x or 4x if you want. I don't know if we're going to do anything in 3x. Votes, thoughts, 3x, 4x. 3x because it could be done non breaking and call it good. How much do we, what do we run into here? Well, our, our temp handling in the binder and such is pretty nasty, so does not, I've, I've seen things kind of leaking out. Well, is this because we pretend we can change the temp path with Wix temp, but we don't always support it? Well, we don't try hard enough. Well, I guess Sometimes just throw stuff in temp without looking at the fact that Wix temp was set. Okay. I, I think the root of the problem there is is that we have this Wix temp. I mean, why, why do we care about being able to redirect? Where your temp location goes? Because we write a lot of cabs to it. And so you can really get your build perf up if you put it in the right place. Or not, or put your virus checker not to look there and things like that. Oh, yeah, all right. Anyway, it's a thing in, in that we need to do better in 4x. Uh, the cleaning up all of this stuff in, is in my to-do list in 4 because it's just a nightmare in the binder. The way we move files around and stuff, it's ugly, ugly, ugly. So anyway, that's what it's for. Okay, I I personally don't care, so I'm fine with saying this is something we can put in for. Yeah, uh, it could be done in three X if someone wanted to fix it. I'm not volunteering. Well, no, but it's not a breaking change. Okay, that's okay, fine. That's it. I, I, there's a lot of bugs in here you didn't volunteer for. There's a whole bunch of heat bugs that are in 3x that I haven't heard you jumping up and down to go do. No. Where's that? that let's see. All right, 3x. There we go. Yes. Make remove files work when an IIS app has file handles open. What? Um. Oh, we want to do remove files. handle this case automatically. So this would be, yeah, you know, basically, this is not a bad idea. This is basically have, because IS was the first custom action written to be declarative and all that kind of stuff, and it got it wrong. There should always be two, one for uninstall and one for install, and you should separate the actions. Right, right, right. And oh, IS is one of those early ones that's only been sequenced once. So that's what this oh, bug is really yeah. work about, is basically split IS to work correctly. Well, this is a case where you need two of them because you want different behavior at different times. No, no, it, it's just like there's remove files and install files. Those are at, executed at different places. There's remove registry and in, you know write registry. Those are executed at different times. There should be a remove IIS and write IIS executed at different times, right? And they're basically yeah. mirrors of each other. They, you know, they roll out, and you can't do that with configure IIS. There's only one, so you have to put it like right. in the middle. No, I, I understand, I, but I remember going through a particular custom action. I don't remember if it was firewall or or it wasn't firewall because I needed that right away. But one of the other ones where I didn't need until fairly late in the process when I discovered one particular path required separate treatment. So. Yeah, the right way to write custom actions is with the yeah. two. It just is. I agree. Two scheduling actions. You're good. So anyway, yeah, this could be done in three. Ooh. Ooh, could it? No, this is a four X thing. I, I think this is yeah, too big can't, a we can't, Yeah, that would be really bad. <laughs> yeah, four X thing. Support auto generation for patch creation. Done. Oh, okay. wait. Patch. 
no, for patch no, creation? No, hold on. I know it works for patch. Um, I'm not excited about doing anything for patch creation. I'm only I, excited about fixing pure Wix. I would agree with that as well. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know if we did that or not. No, we did not. Well, we could take it. We put it in three X, but I don't care. Okay. Yes, three X. Someone could do. It. I mean, it's not that hard to do. Although no. maybe it is harder to do. I have to do it in the binder. Anyway, it's not as trivial as you might think it is, but it's not that hard. This is fixed, right? I don't know. Files as links. Oh, is this the one of the fixes Blair made? Yeah. Okay. He fixed all these files as links. Or someone did first and Blair had to do it again or something like that. Anyway. It does not change it to that case sensitivity. Yeah, okay. Someone could fix that too. Handle app config correctly because it's a little different. What installer version is required for what feature? Uh, this is about MSI documentation. Yes. I don't care. They They have a whole what's new in that and they do a pretty good job in breaking down their what's new in MSI. So I say we just leave it at that. So external, resolve external. Agreed? Because they're there they did a pretty good job. What will light.exe do when no cultures is provided? So they want us to write that part of the documentation. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a series from this. I remember this guy. He got really mad yeah, at me. Too. Yes, He's he like, did. your documentation should be very detailed and all these things. I'm like, okay. File the bugs. All right. I filed all the bugs. When are they going to get fixed? Frickin' when someone gets to it. Uh, so, yeah, I assume this hasn't been updated, so we could do that. 3x? Sure. Light makes no difference between comma and semicolon. Only votive will make such a difference. I don't think that's... Okay. No, this, is, this isn't light. This, 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 no, this bug is not... This, this syntax is MS build syntax. It's not light syntax. Sorry, what do you mean? With semicolon? Yeah, the semicolon I thought lay did a, uh, did a, a split, so it's all MS buildisms. It's purely laying out MS build. It has nothing to do with light. Um, the semicolon is used to split it, but it's not because it's an MS build. Yeah, no, the assign cultures task handles that and ends up doing all this work to build your MSIs multiple times with all different cultures. Right. So this this, this isn't a light thing, and it just doesn't have anything to do with light. So this bug, it's, it's not even on the light page. It's on votive. Okay. So if you accept the premise of the bug at all, then he's saying that we should document that it's different. Fine. Three X. Like I said, if you accept the premise of the bug. That's where I'm having challenges, but yes. Yeah. Should contain a note on that the target computers when installer doesn't care for culture contained in the MSI at all since a German target will install an Italian MSI. Purely informative. That's not correct. That's not correct. No, culture means more than that. So that, that bug's not right. Yep. Light's culture defines linkage but not runtime languages. That's true. Okay. This guy would have had a lot more fun if he would have just gone and fixed them. Well, and if he hadn't written the bugs as if they were RFCs. That's true. Um, shall note that MSI will only ever contain exactly one culture. 
Wait, Why? On. No, 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 we're, no, we don't document MSI. Like, that's just an insane thing for us to try to take on. Well, that's what the product language is for. And this is why these these dozens or dozen bugs are all about how we should be documenting mostly MSI things. Um, okay, yeah, that's fine. I don't know, whatever you want. Sorry, I'm more bug behind. Um, yeah, I, you know, he spent half a dozen bugs to basically say what one paragraph should say about cultures and light.exe. Yeah. Um, this is, you know, this is a parenthetical reference in that paragraph. Fine. I'm like, yeah, put them on 3x. Someone can go through if they want to fix the bugs. Yep. Yeah. Description of verb element needs to go. So I want to propose that it gets extended by the below. Wix does not mention why I cannot use verb target pro with advertised prog IDs. Advertise equal yes. Advertise is not trivial. That's true. Can we say no here and tell them to go work with the MSMDN documentation? Otherwise, we're just this is just a slippery slope where we end up documenting all of MSI inside Wix. Well, no. Well, I don't disagree with that. This is specifically this this problem comes from the fact that. MSI overloaded advertisement. True. And in Wix, we, we took advantage of that to an extent with the whole com advertisement. Um, well, that's what they call it. it so. Well, I, yeah. We elevated it, though. <laughs> um, we should make it all go away anyway. I, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm, 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 uh, crap. I am okay with making sure we have references to the MSI doc on these things. All right. And mostly it's like, okay, shortcuts, com, anything else? No, these are the entry points. Herbs. That, okay, yeah, fine. I was throwing... Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can advertise an OBC driver? I think so. That's why they can be a keypath. Oh, uh, right. I have um, no idea how that, but yeah. I think that's fine. It's been a long time since I looked at OBC at all. Anyway. Fine. It does not say about two things. What happens when the installer version is not provided in the Wix file. So this is about default. How to know which version is my needs. Fine. What the default one is. Why using directory ref? From structure from content. I don't understand that. It's all structure. Well, this is a question of um, yeah. Uh, no, let's just kill that bug. Right. Yep. If someone wants to be explicit about what they'd like to improve in the documentation, we're all for that, but that's not helpful. Two, three, eight, three. Two, three, eight, three. Package ID. Package ID equals, yeah, no, this is all going away. Yeah, we're just, this is all going away. Package ID should be going away. Yes, yeah, so, and that's what this is saying down here. The shaft should not be, yes, so just don't set it. Can we just make that bug go away? Oh, I want no. package ID eventually to go away completely. 
I agree it should. It was a bad thing to expose it. Light format extension. Oh my gosh, 3.0. This has been fixed. Um, I remember this. This is a language thing where we don't format numbers correctly, and we've fixed all that with the culture and variant stuff. Okay. We were pill we were pulling commas out and thinking them as you know dots, and then numbers weren't formatting. Is it? <laughs> it was dumb because this is in a, another language, French or something, probably. Anyway, oh, yes. I remember hitting a couple of those bugs, going, "Oh, that's why I can't repro this." <laughs> And someone finally pointed out, oh, yeah, your language is, you have to change your language. I'm like, oh. Hmm. Include tools necessary building extensions and installer. I think we do this now. We can make it better, but this they all exist now. They're in our binary zip now. Um, do, do we ship them? Yeah, you don't need, a number of these tools you don't need. Well, I, I I agree. Oh wait, we also need this is to build oh extensions. Okay, but this is so oh, okay. Rather than you know put it in the SDK portion of the installer. I mean, we could create a project system for creating extensions. That would be a cooler. Well, yeah. So we could keep it open in 3x and add more yeah. stuff. And say, yeah, cool, could do that. Do more to make it. I don't know. Well, I'm, I, I would be perfectly happy if the the bits of our targets and props and whatnot that would be handy for building an extension are at least isolated enough that someone could pull them out into you know, their own shared uh, yeah. build tree. Fair enough. Like, you know, but but yeah, I mean, I agree. Flatten XML, I mean, truthfully, I wish we weren't even using it anymore. We, yeah, and in, in Wix 4, we're not. Perfect. Um, XSD gen, yeah, yeah, okay. That's, that's occasionally... That yeah, that's for the code DOM. Yeah. Um... But it's like, eh, yeah, uh, it doesn't have to do everything because we don't, we don't want a lot of dependencies on the rest of the Wix build. But yeah, there are a couple of things in there that you can pull out usefully, I think. All right, three X then. I don't yeah. think it'll be breaking because it's all internal changes. Considering patch files automatically. Well, oh, there's one of my trigger words. Binary deltas. Oh, we could keep this in 3x. Probably the right thing to do. Oh, I see. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Photo support for T4 templates. We've punted this bug. Or we, we didn't punt it. We put it somewhere and said, hey, yeah, if you want to implement that. This is another version of that, right? I've seen T4 at least twice. Yeah, I agree. Proper right to left language support. Up every couple of years. Configuring string and language string is probably the easiest way. Oh, this one called it absolutely trivial. Good, good, good. I think this is fixed. Um, I don't know. I, I, I've I never shipped a, a right-to-left language. So I think your I, Wixel files can do all this. I agree. It is now possible to do all that, but we do not automatically do the right things uh, for languages that are RTL today. Yeah, like like Hebrew. We, we ship, I want to say, I know we ship Arabic and Hebrew both, I think. Yeah. And I those Wixel files are not set up. But I, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't speak languages that use my own alphabet and my preferred reading order, um, I don't necessarily want to make changes without 
an expert or at least someone fluent. No, so I, I, we want to translate. We fixed enough of these that this must be possible now. I believe that that is correct. Yes. So it at is that point, it's people. like, and we have Hebrew translations, and people are not screaming at us that they're pointing in the wrong direction. And, you know, so it's yeah. like, and that was all done through Wixel files. So, and people have complained about that. John's right; they have complained about it, and they're not complaining now. So. <laughs> As far as I know, that has to be right. I'm no expert, so I think this bug is fixed, and we just go on. This is really old, too. This is before a lot of Wixels and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm, I say we declare success and keep going. That works. Hey, project including reference pro assemblies and projects. Another one. Dupe. It's amazing how many times that gets dupe. People really want harvesting to work. Wix unit test update fails after MSI schema changes. Uh. Let's just kill this bug. We're not going to fix this. Right? Wix unit is just going to slowly disappear into X unit and all the other things we're doing. So we're not going to fix this. This is really old. Oh, I remember it though. We're not going to fix this. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, well, the, the problem is that that Q tests provide or Wix unit provided a valuable service, and I know we don't maintain it or anything, but um, haven't replaced it. Well, we need yeah, we need to do more work there. That's all. But this isn't the solution going forward. The voter should provide column number with warnings. Um, I suspect... Uh, actually, I, don't think really we, I don't know if we can get this out of the DOM. Because our source line number information doesn't have column in it today, and I don't think we can get it. Oh, it doesn't. I don't think it does. Oh, does it? never mind then. I don't. Rem I don't think it. Hold on. Again. Yeah, it just has line number. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so I, I would say we might just suspend it because. This is really far away from doing it, and honestly, nobody's ever complained. This is this is Visual Studio PM. <laughs> I mean, it was. This is back in the days of everything has to be perfect, and then they bailed on us. So I'm like, whatever. Uh, Voter property pages should expose compression level. I think that's fine. We could totally make that awesomer, <laughs> right? That could be done through sure. X. Sure. Provide grid interface to list preprocessor variables. Sure, that could be done in votive. Instead of home just semicolons. Although at a certain point, don't have that many. No, a typical user does not should not have that, but I'm fine if it was a grid because that would match something else. Multiple extensions in a single DLL not supported. Um, this is now supported. Hey, look, <laughs> those fire giant guys are good. Um, this is now supported in Wix four. I say we put it in four and call it good because we're not going to fix it in three. It's big changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as you can see, in four, <laughs> this bug has been fixed. So you can give it to fire giant and mark it fixed if you want. And it should not be votive, but right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Known to the way to use a Wix library output in a Wix project. I think a project reference will work. Oh yeah, okay, this is the knowing what's inside the Wix lib. You have to know what, yeah, you have to have documentation for the Wix lib. So, 
This is about looking in the wish slip and telling us more about what's in it so you can do something with it. I don't... Sorry, I'm not getting that from the bug. Yeah, user may want to work with the library project. There's no doubt in it to include the resulting wish slip into the MSI project. Right, so you add a reference. Now, how do you use it? You have to create some sort of component ref or something, component group ref. It's an interesting what? feature. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's like a... It can be done in 3x if someone want to do the feature. It's a voted feature. It's not a documentation. It's a voted feature. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, as written, this is really confusing. The, the reference is there. Yes. But without a Wix reference, right. nothing will happen. It's okay. just like, cool, you add the lib to your link line in C++. Now, what are you going to do? Like, oh, i got to call a function in that. How do you do that? Well, you go read MSDN or whatever documentation there is, which is the same answer for us right now. We can mark it suspended because it's going to be a whole lot of work and it's invotive and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> or we can leave it open in 3x or whatever, and it's like, yeah. Okay. I guess, sorry, I'm still struggling with this bug. The, the bug, the feature request, is that there should be... Oh, it's not a bug. It's a feature. You're right. I, just... Yeah, yeah. Um, has nothing to do with libraries and whatnot. It's... If I have a reference to a library, how do I pull in bits of that library? That's right. That's right. So it's IntelliSense or it's yeah. the object browser or... Yeah. Okay. Well, I expect better from PMs when it comes to writing bugs. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Yeah. Votive sets a hard-coded code page value? Oh, the template. It sets it to UTF-8, right? No. Not in 3x. That's a 4x thing. No, wait. Create a project with Unicode. Oh, Unicode. But I thought the templates all had UTF-8 at the top. Not for the code page. Oh, code page. Oh, code page. Code page. Got it. Right. Nothing code. Yeah, fine. You're right. That's a voter thing. Oh, we're at 10, 11. I was having so much fun. Here we go. All right, so that got us to here, right? 23.16. So, sorry, that bug we could take in 3x, right, if someone wanted to go fix that. And I don't know how you do it, but something. Uh, yeah, I don't know how you fix it. I don't know how you fix it. <laughs> I don't know how you fix most of bugs, so I'm just assuming. <laughs> you have to look. Oh, look, they gave us, you know. I don't. Yeah, fine. We'll leave it open. I don't think you can actually fix it. Well, you can mark it suspended. I don't. That won't hurt my feelings. Mark it suspended uh -huh. and go. Look, we don't okay. know how to do this. If you, someone comes up with a magic way of marking how to how to figure this out, bring it back and fix it, or fix one of the other gazillion bugs in Votive. Yeah, yeah. I, I suspect it's hands off. Maybe Votive could get involved at that level. Right. But I'm kind of iffy on that idea. All right, 2316 is what I'm looking for. 2316. Dang, Bob, you're way behind. One, no, yes, two. I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we went down three, ten. Wow, we hit 60 bugs. Right? Wow. Right? Yeah, yeah 60 70. bugs. All right, so if we do 60 bugs for the next three days, that's 180 bugs, 180 more bugs. We get into the, ooh, really? Get into the being done phase. We could be in the hundreds. Yeah. That seems kind of surreal. That would be freaking awesome. <laughs> that would be freaking awesome. So at some point, we need to start removing some of these. I guess we need to remove this 3.8 world at some point, right? So, but whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we are 
a good ten minutes over our start time or our end time, so I'll let you guys go back and have your day, or go back to sleep, or go to sleep, or whatever it is you're gonna go. Drive home, do your thing. Um, as always, it was fun. Um, we will see you guys hopefully on Thursday and do more of this kind of stuff, and maybe we can get through another sixty bucks or more if they keep getting easier and easier and easier. Right. Mm-hmm. Or not, um, but hey, oh, that's this is the thing I always like to check. Am I on the? Oh, look, we're almost close to one full page of stuff. If we get through sixty more bugs, fifty more bugs, we might actually be able to see this being the full collection of bugs that we have to. This will be like our countdown counter. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, you guys have a wonderful week until Thursday, and then we're going to be right back here. Talk to you guys later. Cheers. Bye.